characters, usually their main playstyle revolves around camping, Inkling. Uh, it, it can be rushed down sometimes, but for the most part, you see Inklings try to camp out their opponent, get the reads in. And it looks like we're going to be getting the K rule and Inkling. And here we are, game one, town and city. Should be an interesting matchup. K rule has a lot of really bad matchups in this game. This is one of them, easily one of his worst. I would say, for some people, a lot of them say this is like 30 70 in Inkling's favor. Oh, yeah, by far. Um, Inkling, if you time it right, can just abuse the hell out of his recovery back on stage. Because if you can go extremely deep, get the hits from the side, and just gimp him off stage. Both characters playing neutral. He had, uh, X already at 90%. K Rule, though, the heaviest character in the game. Very difficult character to kill. Ooh! Gets, almost gets the spike. Doesn't get the sweet spot, though, unfortunately. At this ledge. You can see Justin Tess went for the grab. Is that going to... Oh, wow. Great Good positioning coming play out. play right there. Great positioning coming out from X. Knowing where to be at just the correct time. Yeah, Blunderbuss. I, I can still see even top players be caught by it sometimes because you just have a hard time adjusting, especially if you don't have the cable matchup experience of him... With these platforms, you can just go right underneath them or the correct position and get those hard reads. I'm surprised you don't play K. Rool. Uh, he, he was my main for the first month of the game, but I just found out he was one of the worst uh, super heavies in the game. Switched over to DDD, better results, but that's not to say K. Rool, if used correctly, can be an, an, an impressive force in well, game. Well, I'm surprised. I, I, I say I'm surprised because he's able to suck and cuck people. True, true. I, I mean, I like my characters, but those um, nasty, sucky neutral bees, Wario, <laughs> DDD. Finally able to get the stock from Justin Tespro at 61%. Because of how lopsided this matchup is, I would say this is almost a pretty much dead even game unless it gets sucking cucked. Going for the cuck right there. Honestly, 61%, I'd agree with it. So, and just a... Just a test, bro. Trying to wait him out. Trying to put... I would say... I could see just a test trying to bait him out and put him in bad positions. But we're seeing him go for these edge guards and not failing... Or in failing at them, unfortunately. A X doing a good job of staying at ledge and not... Or just mixing up his recovery options. Not doing the same thing twice. Yeah, X... Uh, I, I, I would say he's got to watch out here. But so far, I, I haven't really seen just a test, bro... Um go deep to try and hit Cable from the side out of his upbeat. X really wants that clip. He wants the sucking cuck clip. He really wants the sucking cuck clip. I admire it so much, and he's been bringing this game back. Just as, uh, just a test now at 137%. Um, there are a whole bunch of moves Cable can use to kill this percent, but he's gonna get the disjointed spike. Oh, X not happy with that. Uh, you could see Justin Test knew what he was gonna do and called him out on it. So, And that move... K rolls recovery, I will say, he does have a great recovery. It's hard to exploit it at times because if you try a lot of moves, unless you have a sword. Or, oh, yeah. Or, like, in this case, a, a splat gun. There, there, gun, there, there are a certain list of characters who can disjoint Spike through his up B and it can just become free in certain matchups. Um, Inkling is on that list, but that's not to say. Uh, he's been doing a really good job of mixing up these recoveries um, to get it back. Yes. He, he has had a bit of a percent deficit, but this is K rule. He just needs a couple good hits in to bring it back. He's <laughs> still going for the second. He's still. Off the I think he's going for it way too much at this point. He's becoming way too predictable. Just to test, it's not falling for it. I feel like if he didn't fall for it once, he's not going to fall for it. Or if he didn't fall for it like the first three times, he's never going to fall for it. Like at any point. Yeah, I mean, I totally get why X is trying to meme him right now with the neutral B trying to get the sucking cuck highlight, but. Um, in bracket against a player like uh, just a test, you, you you want you want to play the most optimal cable you can, and he's adjusting to that very quickly. Exactly, you can see he's not. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, just waiting it out. Not gonna let him get cut. Keeps duping me. Sitting at the ledge, you can see what X is doing. Oh no! Good tech coming out from just a test. I thought he had the clip. I thought he had the clip. I feel like if he fired behind him, it might have actually gotten the stock. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Maybe. I think he would, might have been too low. You can see X, what he's doing really, what he's doing is he's sitting at ledge, knowing that that's K rule. Like, K rules don't mind being at ledge as much as other characters do. Oh, Ooh. does he get the spike? Oh! Sorry. 
nasty, nasty move Just from a McKay test overextending a little too much, not respecting the down air. No, we're not respecting the back air. Gets punished for it. Game one going to X. I can. I'll step. I'll step out. Uh, oh, I step out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to I mean, play. I want to play friendly. Yeah. Okay. You're close to it, then you're off at the side. So, so it's not picking you up. So, yeah. 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 come on, Walt. Yeah. Can you scoot? To it, you're Can I scoot? Just a little bit. Yeah. Perfect. All right, sorry guys. More technical difficulties. You know how it is. You know how it is. And if you don't, well, you're about to find out because we're going into game number two. Technical difficulties got that last game because just to test. Really wanted, was going for that edge guard. Thought was really he had it, to go deep, but didn't. But, but didn't respect the back air. Now we're in game number two. Just a test. Down one game. Looking to bring it back. Goes to battlefield. Good choice. I would say the K rules don't do well with platforms. They they do not do well with platforms in any scenario except for this. So how could I forget? Getting getting the suck mind game right there. Yeah, I mean I, I used to think maybe battlefield was his best because you could just go to the top platform, go down. Um, then I remembered, oh yeah, people adjust in Smash. You can play around that very easily. Um, but K. Rool, on a, on a platform stage like this, he can just combo him to infinity with how thick he is. Also, Archer, get out of the Twitch chat and actually get in here. You smell. <laughs> but EHX sitting at 122. Um, still sort of a comfortable percent for K. Rool. Gonna get another sucking cut there. Blunderbuss does such oh. a good job of racking up percent. I'm surprised Just a Test did not go for that edge guard. It feel, I feel like he could have easily gotten it, but instead goes to refill the ink. So back air is going to do it for that stock. X sitting at 143. K-Rule, a big character, can be annoying to kill, especially with Inkling, because in some scenarios, Inkling doesn't have a lot of good like kill potential outside of roller or like a good edge guard yeah. and K roll being such a heavy character having such a good recovery it can be difficult sometimes yeah In inkling is definitely top tier character in this game K roll more towards the bottom of the food chain but inkling does not really have uh, like you said too many reliable options edge guard um, hard weeds on smash attacks but she can rack up so much damage with pain you know uh, getting uh, getting jabs news would be this or that um, it's just killing this problem, which I think is kind of fairly balanced as a, as a character kit. It's just to get, uh, against K rule, the way that X is playing this K rule, he's not allowing himself like to be killed. He's, I mean, he's at 201% right now. I feel like one thing just a test could be doing is going off and maybe not even challenging like the top of K rule's recovery, but also like maybe back airing him into the stage because at this point he wouldn't be able to tech it, it'd be untackable all the way. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I do believe at like a certain percentage you're just not able. But however, he's not even going to need to do that because he's able to get the sock with a forward smash at 39%. Practically an even game, but just to test, wanting to figure out what he's going to need to do, how he's going to adapt to get back into this set and find his way onto the board. It closing down the percent a little bit. Um... Gonna get hit with the splat bomb though. Both characters back neutral. We see X just sitting at the edge of the stage. Not opting to take center stage control. Wow, that was an interesting interaction. You can see that he went for a back air and I guess just landed at the wrong time. Fortunately, gets grounded. That back air with the pain is gonna take you. That is. Huh. I was gonna say maybe that was bad DI, however, I did forget that. Oh, no. Almost gonna do it. I was gonna say, I was like, there's no way he dies from that. So. Not, not really too sure why they would have nerfed K Rule's recovery of all things either. Uh, maybe. No, oh, that thing could go ever. Th that thing oh, could yeah. go everywhere. And it could still go everywhere. Down good smash. Down smash though. Good smash. Down smash coming out. Dead even game. Last stock situation. Hopefully this doesn't result in another unfortunate event where just a test just barely, barely lose loses because of a uh, over ex extension however oh he he went for the dunk so that's starting to uh 
still not really edge guard yet, but he's starting to go off stage, trying to he's trying to let X know, okay, I can I can go down there at high. Good pivot good. grab. Oh, oh, it gets the dunk. Oh no! What if you wanted to win the game, but K. Rule said down there, nasty, nasty spike. It's it's two zero X. Back-to-back -back games taken by X I don't off know of what, I don't know what Just Attach matches. needs to do, but he needs to figure out really quickly what he's doing wrong, how can he approach, because we see a lot of these approaches, especially at that last stock, where he approaches and X is just able to call out everything he's about to do and punishes him for it, punishes him so hard and just like that loses the game again. Just a test was ahead for a little bit. He was ahead and lost it. X doing so well from coming from behind. Just a test contemplating where he wants to go, maybe what stage. Going back to town and city. Interesting pick. But what I can understand. So we'll have to see if Just a Test is able to crawl his way back in and maybe we'll get another game five scenario or something along those lines however we're gonna have to wait for that game five because right now we are at game three of this potential last game between just a test and x both not wanting to be eliminated from this event event both want to continue on and potentially make it into grand finals but only one of them can yeah just a test doing a good job of getting an early percent lead see like right there you can give him k rule out of his uh not be at higher percents but He's going to be fighting an uphill battle with... Ooh, good roller right ooh, there. Ooh, he um, air dodged. I don't think he meant to do that, unfortunate. And that is the thing with Crown. If you get hit by both the when he throws it and when it's coming back, it gets set up for some really you know decent aerials like forward air, nair. So oh, yeah, the, the combo does, potential. K-Roll does have potential. Nice. So I, I'm, I'm afraid to live in a world where he gets buffed. That was a good up air there. The roller to side smash not quite going to take it off of the second thickest character in the game. It's just um, with X. I feel like with just a test bro, he's not going as hard as he can for these edge guards because when K. Rule is in that recovery, he can't do anything. He's like vulnerable from the forward, like forward and back. He just can't approach him really from the top. However, as I say that, he's going to get the stock finally finding a lead. Let's see if he's going to be able to extend this into something greater so he doesn't lose it immediately like we've been seeing him in the last few games. Yeah, K. Rule is going to have to find some right here. He's doing a good job staying out of the traps now. X, game three. I mean, you know, he has a little bit to lose, but he's been going for these sucking cucks again. He just wants to get a little bit of cheese on him. He, he already got the highlight clip with the down, with the down, with the down air, with the down air spike. He, he doesn't need anything. He doesn't need great Ooh. edge guard Nasty coming edge guard out just to test. Time. At 111, X on his last stock in game three. Hopefully, I would love to see a game four. I'd love to see a game five, but maybe X will be able to pull it back and bring and bring out the best in K Rule. Seems at the moment though, just a test having all the momentum, getting more percent on Cable. Cable's not really able to find much of an opening on this Inkling at the moment. Has to be careful with the paint on him as it's going to keep racking up more and more percent, going for the oh. spike and yeah. Gets the spike but dies for it. The unfortunate tail of the cable. I mean, X also, you gotta think, he must have like such a pretty good body high going right now because he actually beat Snickledorf, who was the number one to seed to move on, who was predicted to win the whole thing. However, Snick, unfortunately losing, opting to go his secondaries and drift away from Game & Watch, which is something I can completely understand. Wanting to find something that can cover a lot of even watch bad matchups so x making it very far both of these players want to keep going into the bracket but it just depends just a test throw felt a lot more comfortable in that in that game than he has in the last two yeah he was playing he was playing to his game he was getting caught less by uh k rules moves um back air he was respecting it a whole lot more facing himself correctly from it good uh, a very good showing from him to force this game four and we're gonna have to see this could potentially be another game five oh, personally yeah. i'd like to see it it's always uh, it's always hype but here we are game four next this is just a test on yoshi's story this is a not a bad idea for a small stage so there's a lot of things that will kill just a test easy 
or just to test a lot easy, but a lot easier, sorry. Um, the problem though, the one thing I can see though with just a test, that thing can be said for X, is that if just a test gets a good edge guard, that could be it. Yeah. Yoshi's story, a smaller stage, one of the smaller stages in comparison to the other stages that are viable, or tournament legal, I should say. Yeah, and X is doing a good job of getting this early percent lead. Gonna go for the down throw. Personally, um, it, it personally until high very percents, I, I feel like K Rule should go for the up throw a lot more. It's always guaranteed percent. Um, of course, it's always good for a tech chase if you can get it. Yeah, or I would say the forward throw. The forward throw, you can get a lot off of that. Finally, we see Just Test going for the back airs now. This is exactly what I've been wanting to see all set. We're bringing him very close to the end. Good Nair edge guard there by X. That is That does have such a big hitbox. Uh, throwing out. He's really oppressive. Like, K. Roll has some of the most oppressive projectiles in the game. I will say the, the platforms, though, if it wasn't for the platforms, because you can already guess that Just to Test is not allowing him to go to FD. Oh! Where did that splat co bomb come from? It came out of nowhere to save him from the neutral, but he's getting a, uh, getting a good percentage racked up on him. Both of them haven't even taken a stock yet. It's insane. Just to Test sitting at 157. But like I was saying, you can tell. Like, I can already guess that Just to Test is not taking him to, like, FD or any stage that is flat. Oh, for sure. Cable can... The, the the dreaded neutral B to side B combo. Plaguing everybody for the first month of the game. Remember when everyone thought this character was high tier? Or, like, top tier? Uh, I have fond memories of those days. Yeah, and then everyone found out how to play against him. And I, I mean, a lot of people called that. I was one of them, but... You know, still, K. Roll does X showing that K. Roll does have viability. Yeah, getting the first stock off here. I, I K. Roll, I feel, will be a Bowser character uh, akin to Smash Four, where everybody thinks, "Oh, he's good." No, he actually sucks. Maybe a year or so down the line, he can be buffed to actually be viable in tournament without having to put all this effort and hard reads into him. It is quite possible. Right now, 66% just a test having a really hard time getting this kill on X, who's at 176, walks Ooh, right into the forward baby. smash and dies. All of a sudden, this is looking very grim for just a test. He has to find a way in back into this game. He has to clear this stock now. And just like that, he is going to clear the stock. He is at a one complete one stock deficit, though. Two really, stocks to one, definitely going to be difficult when it's hard to kill K. Rule. He really, like, the one thing we've seen, or the, the one thing I was talking about, this is a very small stage, so both of them can die very easily. But with X, he's such a heavy character, it almost doesn't matter. Ooh, just a test, able to get a little bit of percent on. 69% on K. Rule, still a stock to go. He just needs to make sure not to get hit. That side tilt, gonna that, super armor for That you know. super armor is so annoying. Doesn't send him off stage. Very curious. Maybe he saw something there that I didn't. Just a test doing really good at like continuing these combos. Oh, I thought he almost had the spike. Not getting anything off that down throw besides the throw percentage. Throw percent. Get some at ledge. If he... Has to oh, open good this down edge smash. Right here. I... And if he can get the hit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Unfortunate. Times of that belly, though, is about to break. That should do it. That, that'll easily do it. Just a test. 79%. This is He can make this comeback. I, he is a very competent player. He is competent enough where he can bring this game back easy. He just has to be very careful. Sitting at 106%. He, he has to play around. X's game plan. Gets the up air juggles. X going to nair out of it. Oh, and here we go. Oh, the flat bomb is going to get him. Just to test really wanting to go off stage, but not opting to. Covering pain has to be careful. Just to test at kill percent on any of Cable's moves right now. Oh my god, you can see Just to test weaving out, weaving in and out so well. 102. Is he gonna bring this back? Just to test. I, I can tell. Oh, oh he wanted the spot no, dodging no. through the roller in it. Oh, oh, that's gonna take it. He, he got the parry. And he went for it, but the spot dodge from X gonna come out and seal the game. Nice X sequence of moves from X. On. That was oh such a God. good showing from both of those players.